Good evening. Please don't comment anything about my hair. I know it needs done. Oh my god, it's really, it's really hard to come to terms with that I have half brown, half blonde hair at the minute. But there's nothing I can do about it, obviously, because all the hairdressers are closed. But it will be the first thing I'm doing as soon as this lockdown is lifted. I woke up this morning bright and early at half twelve. I had my avocado on toast, and I was just thinking, right, time to start another repetitive, depressive day. And then I was like, Olivia, right, right, you know what? We're not doing it today. We're gonna switch it up. We're gonna live someone else's life. So I am gonna be living my king Emma Chamberlain's life today. I think I've said it in about every video. Why not? She's my favorite. YouTuber. YouTuber and like she's literally the reason I started YouTube because I'm just, I'm obsessed with her. I'm not like trying to be her or anything and I hate when people comment on my videos being like you're trying to be Emma Chamberlain because we're like very very different people. I feel like she's like very chill and like she's like a rich girl from LA and then I'm just like this raging ADHD monster. But even if you're like not a big fan of her you can't deny that you do want to live her life. Like she lives in a four million dollar mansion in LA. She just goes to like soul cycle with her friends. She has cats. She just like makes videos for a living and like drinks nice coffees and takes Instagrams. Like she is just out here living the life that everyone wants to live. So I thought let's just pretend I'm her for the day. I'm just gonna live her life. But I literally watch every single video she's ever posted. So I feel like I know what kind of stuff she does during the day. Like I'm gonna make a coffee, play with my cat. I hate my cat. Like I'm not gonna lie, me and my cat used to get on so well. We were besties, but recently like we're just out to get each other we have a group chat for our street so like all my neighbors are in it and like they sent in a photo of tigger in their house and they're like whose cat is this like she won't leave us alone like basically she's trying to run away because we're just like not getting on with each other and she knows it and like it's she got to go her own way to be honest honestly like i'm gonna have to pack my bags or she's gonna have to pack her bags because like we're not dynamic together if you know what I mean. I also feel like I kind of just need this because I haven't really been living my best healthy life recently. Like my night routine is just like eating a bowl of curry stick noodles and then like falling asleep with like curry stuff around my mouth. It's so nice. And obviously I'm a chairman in LA so she's like drinking green juices and all. So like I feel like I'm gonna do that today. I kind of need that. Also I forgot to say my good friend Kit Elizabeth also did this exact video so go to hers. I completely just stole her idea. I'm so unique and original and quirky. Sorry. Also oh my god in my last video I told you about my horrific night and I just feel like I want to tell you quickly before we get on with the video because I only found the photos on my phone recently. I like I didn't want to drink and then my family were like Olivia you're so boring. I'm like I'm not gonna let someone sit and call me boring so I was like right okay let me get part out like really quickly. So I did and I have no idea what happened but I went on my phone and I found these photos and my sister was like yeah you took these and thought they were so nice like you were literally gonna post them like you thought they were amazing. So these are the photos and then basically woke up in the morning like in a pillow stick in my bed and my boyfriend was in the bed so it's so pleasant and lovely. Right I'm gonna go down and make a coffee because I'm so seriously gonna die if I don't have one like oh my god shut up Libby you're so dramatic but I'm being serious So now I've made my coffee, I've decided I'm going to get ready a wee bit and then pick an outfit I think she'd wear and take my Instagram photos. Also, look at this, like his mess, John's mess, like it's really getting to me. Except I'm not gonna even be talking about John because she doesn't talk about her boyfriend, she keeps it secret and it drives me fucking insane. Like I'm just a nosy bitch, okay? I know it's none of my business, but like I need to know the tea here. Was Ethan Dolan and Amber Chamberlain real? Or like was it a figment of my imagination? I just like, I need to know. So for makeup, she only wears like concealer, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, don't quote me on that. I literally can't wear makeup at the minute because I went in the sun and all my freckles came out and all like these, they're not moles, they're beauty marks. And <laughs> my beauty marks came out. So whenever I put foundation on it, it just turns gray for some reason and it looks horrible. So I am just gonna put a bit of concealer like under my eyes and my nose. So I started the Chloe Ting thing yesterday. I have been doing her eye workout anyway, like the 10 minute one on YouTube but then I decided I'm just gonna start the actual like two big shred thing but I'm just like so excited for like the before and after pictures I took the before pictures but I also forget like you can see your face in them and I look absolutely horrendous and I probably won't be posting them anywhere but like it's just for my own satisfaction but I'll probably just show you the before picture because it's actually quite hilarious that I actually took that and thought that was okay I'm also just not loving life at all because basically for so long it was so nice and warm I'd fooled myself into believing it was summertime I was wrong however because mother nature was just playing a, a cruel trick on me because now in Northern Ireland it is grey skies every single day raining I just don't want to go outside anymore and like going outside was the only thing keeping me seeing so basically it's just like a downhill slope from now but I'm thinking what day is it it's it's basically May I think maybe by the end of the month we could be out of lockdown am I delusional yeah like I still think in my head that I'm going on summer holidays this year it's not happening Olivia like 
can you please come to terms with this? No, I can't. Okay, so I feel like she's either turns the spectrum. She's either wearing like Brandy Melville and jeans and like Air Force or else full on like Louis Vuitton designer. Obviously, I do not have any designer clothes. So we will not be doing that kind of side of her today. We're just going to be doing the kind of Brandy Melville side. I know like her clothing is quite basic, but at the same time, she does like start every single trend in the world. You know what I do now? I use a fucking shoelace as a belt and that is all done to her. It was kind of like a cultural reset, Emma Chamberlain. Okay, so I know she has this cardigan from Manny Mabel, so that's definitely an option. And then, like, last summer, I was, like, going stalking her on Instagram because I just, like, find all my clothes on her Instagram. And I saw this top, and I just thought I'd have to buy it and completely recreate it. And, like, that's a bit creepy, Olivia, so I don't know why I'm sharing that. But it's this top from Manny Mabel, and then I cropped it myself. She does have quite funky trousers. I do not have any funky trousers. Guys, I obviously had to do it to him. I bleached one half of my jeans the other day. The basic bitch jumped out. It jumped. And then I've got these jeans from Collusion, which are quite similar, I feel, to what she wears. So they're also an option. I've also got these white jeans. And I never really wear white jeans, but I feel like they would maybe want to be something she wears. Oh my god, also, can I tell you something really degrading? So basically, I... I like got changed on my pajamas and put on these sweats to start filming but I knew I was getting changed in literally like 20 minutes because I was going to be putting on an Emma Chamberlain outfit so I literally had no pants on when I wanted to go to make my coffee I was commando anyway no problem because it was about for five seconds while I made my coffee my sister had the nerve she was bold enough to fucking debug me sorry I didn't realize I was literally seven years old like this woman is what 21 still living in my home debugging me Someone remove her from my life, a fucking bitch. Uh, yeah, so she did back me and I was commando. And her boyfriend was sitting right there. My butt crack was exposed. I was compromised. So. so okay, so this first life is inspired by her Paris Instagram. So this is quite different for me, but I'm feeling like a bit of a bad bitch. I don't know if this is exactly the vibe I'm going for because I feel like she wouldn't wear this day to day. Like I'm going for more like LA, I'm a Chamberlain, like Brandy Melville kind of vibe. The jacket is from Pretty Little Thing, the top is from Pretty Little Thing. These jeans are from my friend Emma Ellingson. She did a line with Naked Fashion and they are so nice. I'm a bit obsessed. I've never worn white jeans before. Like, So I'm actually quite obsessed with this outfit and I may have to wear it again in the future. So if you see me wearing this outfit, don't don't bring it up. Don't say you've seen it before because you haven't. It's a figment of your imagination. Oh my god, also with these glasses, you know Key Australia, they sent me them and I'm honestly feeling like a bad bitch because I always wanted to get Key Australia sunglasses but they were too expensive and my mum used to give me like £10 a week so I couldn't buy them. But <laughs> I am obsessed with these. Whoa, the flavour is immaculate. I feel like a Russian spy. Okay, so this one is a heavy, heavy no. It's inspired by this photo. However, it just doesn't look the same on her as it does on me. I don't know very butch comes to mind so i'm gonna quickly take this off and pretend it never happened and we're not taking instagrams in it okay i think this could be the one however i'm more like this is something she would have worn when she was really basic like she did go through a bit of a basic phase before she became like a proper louis vuitton model however i'm still in my basic phase so let me live so i'm wearing the jeans that i bleached myself they're from urban outfitters i think and then this white shoelace has a belt because <laughs> That's what she does. And then I'm wearing this brand new level cardigan. Also, oh my god, look who came to join us. Tigger. Also, look at the mess. My room, we're not talking about it, guys. Who said we were talking about it? So we're just vibing over here, me and Tigger. We're spending some quality time together. She loves me. I love her. <coughs> Tigger. Uh, she had to go, but um, she's really busy. Because I'm obsessed with these glasses. Who wants me to do a glasses haul? These are also, these are up there with my favourite. Oh. Oh yes, I will be wearing these on the non-existent summer holiday this summer. And then these ones are a bit different, a bit quirky. They're like multicolored, but they're kind of like circular. I don't know. I feel like I feel like they're quite fun. Right, so now I've got my outfit on. Like, what should I do? Should I go like skateboarding? I know she skateboards, but she did a video about how she was like trying to learn how to skateboard to impress a boy. But we don't think that ended well. It was never addressed, but on the T Spill channels, they said they don't follow each other anymore. So, oh my god, like I'm scary. I'm properly scary. It is raining, so I decided to put on my black North Face. It's actually my brother's. And oh, sorry, I don't really know what happened there. I put it on because I know she has a blue one. I'm also going to recreate an Instagram of hers just while I'm here because I may as well. Okay. That's her Instagram. Time to skip. I'm a scared boy. She's just so, you're a little boy. Are you watching Cory doing? Are you far? Hurry. So I was gonna go out in the street, but then I was like, the neighbors have had enough of me. Like they just they know exactly what I'm up to. Here you go, girl. Thanks. <laughs> oh. oh, that was so good. Ready? Watch this. 
Well. I didn't mean to stunt you there with my skills. So this next part has no context, but basically I just didn't want to do exercise, so I tried to delay it as much as possible. And the first idea that came to my head was just like really, really annoyed John while he's trying to play the Xbox. So enjoy. Do you think you're getting oh, away? You're I got no fuel. Are you not Are you calling me fat? No, but do your work out. Go to bed. Go to bed. I already got back. Suck my ass. Move out of the way. I'm literally not in the way. It's not my fault. My, I'm too thick. It's not my fault. I got a fat ass. Move. Ah! <laughs> We've been in that whole thing. Okay, so it's about time I kind of start the exercise for the day. I hate that I can see myself in the mirror. Like, I'm literally shaped like a fridge from the back. I just have the, I have the worst back profile ever. Like, I didn't even know it was a thing until recently. And then I saw a thing on TikTok about your back profile. And I had a look. And I wasn't impressed. But, you know what? I don't really care. I'm just going to make sure no one sees me from the back anymore. Like, I'm constantly going to be from the front. So, don't, I'm not quite sure how that one's going to work out yet. But I'll, I'll work on it. So, ready for my transformation into my sports clothes? Okay, hey, how was that transition? Probably terrible, but I do not care. I think I've seen this before. It's just a wee two-piece from Gymshark. And we also had to put you on or something. Okay, so Emma Chamberlain loves lip balm. I'm not sure if she still does. I don't know if that was like a phase, but she used to like always go on about Carmex and all. But we all know I only use lip balm. However, there is one exception. I'm like obsessed with peach iced tea and this lip balm smells so like it. And it just it gives me really big summer vibes when I smell it. It's this Nivea one. I think it's called like peach shine or something. I would definitely purchase if I were you. It's not anywhere near as moisturizing as nipple balm. Like nipple balm is my all time favorite, but I'll give Nivea peach shine a go every once in a while. So my dad is like a slut for spin classes. So whenever he went into lockdown, he actually bought a spin bike. He's also got like special spin shoes and all for it. It's just kind of weird vibes. Five minutes of super hard riding. Ow, my vagina. My legs are going too fast for my body. Ah! I don't know if this is for me to be honest. Okay, so four minutes in, I'm just gonna call it a day and I'm gonna move on to the Chloe Ting after workout. I'm sorry, but how do girls do that? In fact, how do boys do that? That is rock solid. Like that is not forgiving for your bones down there. <laughs> okay, right, one video done. Three to go. Kill me. Kill me now. Oh my god, I'm gonna be sick. Okay, second video done. Two videos to go. Look at me. I'm dripping. Okay, third video done. That one was legs, and I did squats for the first time in about six years. So if you see me looking a little bit thick tomorrow, mind your business. There's literal sweat dribbling down my face. I'm glistening. I'm like Edward when he goes in the sun. Chloe Ting, I hate you, but I love you. It's a love-hate relationship. Right, okay, I'm all shored. I'm a bit shiny because I just put my moisturizer on. Uh, I got changed into my favorite track suit. I have to show you, okay, so it's from this place called Pangaya and they come in all sorts of colors. They're all like sustainable and like eco-friendly. But I was just, I wanted to show you because they sent me it and I actually just like live in it these days. Just in Meatrun I'll wear it, so I'm pretty like down with the kids. Right now I need to go have dinner because I'm absolutely ravenous. Also while I was gone, I got rid of my desk because I came to the realization because Corona has canceled my exams uh, and this is my last year of school and I'm not going to uni, there were the last exams I was doing. So I chucked my desk into my brother's room just to give myself more room. But now I also have like a very blank wall and I don't really know what to do with that. So if anyone has any ideas, decor ideas, leave me some comments. Right, so I don't really know like kind of what food Emma Chamberlain ate, but she always talks about burritos. So I'm gonna go try and make my own burrito. I wanted to order it, but apparently ordering food like three times a week is not allowed, so I'm running away. Okay, so this is my burrito station. This is some fake uh, mince chili that my mum made. And it's got like some beans in there as well. And some lettuce and some guacamole. This is like this is probably the third avocado I've had today. I just can't stop and there's no stopping me. And then I don't have any actual salsa, so I'm just gonna have to use Dorito salsa. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. 
There also is Mexican rice, but I don't like rice. Okay, so I've got my second coffee of the day, and I thought with this new energy, let's do some more activities. So she used to be a cheerleader when she was younger, and I recently listened to a podcast about her cheerleading life, and I decided me and John are gonna try some cheerleading things. I feel like he could be my stunt man, and then I could be the flyer. Never cheerleaded before in my life, not sure this is gonna go. Not really athletic, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, give me a word to spell it, Matthew. Give me a... Cheer. Cheer. Okay. Uh, can't do that. Woo! Come on! Come on, girl! I can't do that. Give me a C! And then you you lift me up, ready? Ready? What, how am I lifting you up? You lift me up from here, and then I go... You're gonna Give me a C! And then you lift me up for H. Give me a... <laughs> I can't do it, it's hard. It's, you it's, just it's... give me a Y and G! <laughs> So I've learned like cheerleading isn't my forte, but it's okay, we'll, we'll move on. So as that activity didn't work, I thought, okay, let's think about another activity we could do. In a recent video, she swam in her pool in her new mansion, so I thought, let's swim in my pool. Unfortunately, this is uh, the current state of my pool. Um, so yeah, that's just like not happening. So now I'm gonna make a TikTok because she does make quite a lot of TikToks. I do wanna do this dance like with my brother, but I don't know if he's gonna let me down here. So if he does, I'm gonna just have to do it solo. We'll give her a go with Matthew, but I'm not making any promises here. <laughs> right, I'm making a green juice because I frequently watch paparazzi videos of her after her Soul cycle going to get green juice. I am an actual stalker, it's terrifying. But I'm putting in some some lettuce, some cucumber, a pear, and then I'm putting in the juice of a lemon too. And I'm gonna pour it into a wine glass because I have a Zoom quiz tonight and everyone's drinking, but I really can't be bothered to drink after having such a nice healthy day. So I'm gonna be drinking my green juice in my wine glass. Okay, right, so just before I go to bed and stop being Emma Chamberlain for the day, I thought I have to game, because at the minute, she says she's constantly playing Fortnite. I'm not a Fortniter. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Okay, so instead of playing Fortnite like she does, I'm playing Mario Kart and the Nintendo, and me and John are playing multiplayer. I just thrive at Mario Kart and the Nintendo, but I ordered Mario Kart on the way from Amazon. I think it was like 60 quid, and I was like, ah, it'll be so fun for lockdown. It, it's so much better on Nintendo, like I am thriving. And I just beat him. You can't put that on. What do you mean? I'm no, obviously. You can't put me in it. Why? Because I'm gross. No, you don't, John. You look beautiful. Beautiful. Not a single way. Words can bring you down. No, oh, are you, are you? So don't you burn me, darling, so darling. I'm gonna play a few more races, then I'll probably watch an episode or two of Homeland, not gonna lie. I don't know why you're trying to insinuate that I just had curry soup nails because I swear I didn't. Like, you're actually lying. Like, why are you accusing me of such a thing? Because it was not me. Um, Someone said I sound like Vicky Pollard whenever I go off and around. Like, you know the girl who's like, you're but no but, you're but no but. Yes, yeah, so that's literally me. Yeah, but... No, but, yeah, it's me, but I shouldn't actually be here or something or nothing because let me tell you the whole thing because this whole thing happened what I don't even know nothing about because a whole load of us went out to Disney World. But yeah, I didn't have curry soup noodles. My tongue's yellow from curry soup noodles. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm exposed. Right, let me go play some more Nintendo. Bye. Well, actually, this is the end, so I hope you enjoyed me being Emma Chamberlain for the day. To be honest, I kind of enjoyed it. I would maybe do it more often, but to be honest, I just did the exact same thing as I usually do, except I actually put on, like, clothes today, so that was fun. Good night.